having my pillow back because I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Obviously giving me the thinner one. <laughs> I know, I know. It's like 10.45. in the morning on a Sunday and the bells are going off girl. I'm gonna take a nap now but I mean grandma's also taking a nap and kind of see her there but she's also watching it's Sunday morning we are still tired from our day in France yesterday in Champagne country. It's quite hilly, the area, and um, mind you, my grandmother is 74 years old, and she did have a cane with her, but that was a lot on her body, so we rested a lot, and also just making sure that she's okay, so we are both very tired okay Jasmine. thank you we we're both very tired but also i don't know when the bells are gonna stop but it's kind of nice also the trees look so green still stop but like yesterday when we were getting back on the bus to leave France and I think we we're leaving Epinay I was like sliding I got on my grandma's seat because I was on the window seat she was in the aisle and I like slid to my side and I guess the belt buckle from her seat caught on my pants and ripped my jeans from like on one side I'll show you because I still have the jeans like y'all they got ripped do you see that? I'm glad that I have other pairs of pants, AKA these like corduroy ones. Um, and yes, I'm wearing an all white outfit today, but um, yeah, I have my corduroy pants on, currently corduroy trousers. And then I have the skirt that I would like to wear maybe tomorrow. Um, that's really cute, but that's pretty much it along with like my sweatpants that I brought with me when I flew to Germany But oh my gosh When it happened I was like grandma I ripped my pants <laughs> And I showed her and we both started laughing because I couldn't see it because it felt like it just frayed But when I got inside finally back at the bed and breakfast I was like, oh they ripped ripped <laughs> giant hole my grandma took a picture i would show you but it's literally my butt like like at least one cheek just fully out <laughs> i was like you can see my underwear too i was like damn this sucks but i'm glad it happened that night at the end of the day and not in the midday because that would have been way worse so it happened at a pretty good time but it was hilarious but yeah now um we're just gonna continue taking a nap i've been talking to y'all for quite a bit of time um i was just on my phone like watching youtube videos 
and stuff but I'm going to read my second book I finished the vanishing half which was so good and now <laughs> this book is like so opposite because I'm reading it for my Bible study vanishing half was for my book club Jesus through the eyes of women so that is the next book and then I also need to uh, practice Spanish so I brought this book that I got off Amazon um, and I use it along with Duolingo to take notes in my journal that I bought I just bought this like really cute journal from Target um, and I just write like Spanish words to English words that I learn um, in it so yeah. anyways I'm gonna take a nap on the bed for about an hour and then I think what we're gonna do is practice more driving because I really want to get the stick shift down it is hard but it's more of like what's hard for me is not shifting into the other gears because shifting into the other gears to go faster doesn't seem hard it's more of braking making sure i know what to do when i brake to slow down and stop like i kind of got that but sometimes like after 15 minutes it's like my brain and my body disconnect and i don't think about it and when you're driving manual especially for the first time at least for me uh it's very much a you should not be distracted you need to think about what you're doing um and you can't forget about what you're doing because there's just so many moving parts like the clutch is so important and then the brake and then the gas and yeah okay it finally stopped ringing so it rings for like 15 minutes whoa at 10 45. maybe that's to signify like church or something because it is sunday um i'm gonna leave the window open for a little bit but yeah anyways I am uh, going to take a nap now, and I'll talk to y'all later. Might see me drive, might see me not drive, I don't know at this point. But I am tired. We both are. We both are very exhausted. And making it through my day to day, I think is something that I should give myself a pat on the back for and like you as well. I think we should learn to be more proud of ourselves for just like making it through another day and like thriving and trying our darn best. I am in the middle of getting, oof, that was kind of close. I'm in the middle of getting ready. Let me zoom out. And we don't really have any plans today. We're probably gonna go to Vogel Way because my grandma really wants to go. Um, but I got complimented the other day on my blush and I thought I would share some of the products that I'm using. So first up, I don't wear foundation anymore. I do have a skin tint at home uh, that my friend got me, but um, I'm pretty sure it's from Walmart. It works really well. I'll share it, it's like $5. But what I've been using is Ilya's concealer in the shade. It's the True Skin Serum Concealer. I think I'm using it in turmeric or something. Yeah, turmeric, uh, SC 4.5. So that's it's my shade. Um, and then I set it with the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder in shade two which is medium i found three was making me a little bit orange which i did not appreciate so um i went with that one the blush that i use i've had this for years because i'm about to, i literally hit pan on it but it still um has quite a bit in it it's by mac it's called love joy in the mineralized blush my grandma got it for me as like my part of my first makeup <laughs> And then I have this travel size um, 
Highlighter Stick by Milk, but when I'm at home, I usually use Rare Beauties, um, like Golden uh, Liquid um, Illuminizer, which is pretty good. And then for bronzer, I use the Dual Finish. Oh, I think it's in Dual Suede 50 C or something like that, but it's by Lancome. I've had it for years. It is not my shade, but I use it as like a contour slash blue. Like you can see, it's really not my shade, but I use it as a contour slash blue uh, bronzer. Um, it works really well for me. And then my setting spray that I use is Cover FX the high performance one they have a travel size one and then the large one i buy it off amazon because you can't buy it at sephora anymore um they don't sell it oh and then the thing that goes under my makeup which is really important is sunscreen ulta md like it's freaking great um oh brows i use my nyx glue uh the brow glue and then i'm just going to use like the travel size ilia and I'm trying to find the other one. Or oh, are they both Ilya? <laughs> Mascaras. I just use whatever travel size mascara because honestly it lasts just as long. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with like my MAC in Cork and Fenty Clear um, lip gloss, but it's like dyed because of the lip stain. And then my eyeliner is one size. I also like Hourglass's one um, eyeliner, but one size is pretty good as well. And then perfume, the only brand that I really use, honestly, is by Clean Reserve. But on this trip, I, I typically wear Rain. That's like my signature scent. When I travel, I like to wear the Radiant Nectar. Um, they have other scents that are really good, but I like clean because they're ethical and sustainable. So, yeah, I try to still buy ethical and sustainable. But anyways, I'm going to finish getting ready. I'm almost done. I just have to do uh, eyeliner, mascara, lips. And then I think we're going to go to Vogel Way, which is where my grandma went to church at when she was stationed here in Germany for like four years. I asked her, I was like, what's been your favorite place that you've, that you were stationed at? And she was like, Germany, which makes sense because she talked about it a lot when I was growing up. So anyways, I'm gonna set y'all back down, continue getting ready. Freaking beautiful. I know it's not usually kosher to have seafood with cheese in Italian culture, but whatever. This is literally what All right. I am done. I put this tied into the half knot on my head. That is good. Oh, I need to do my lips. I haven't done that yet. My grandma's in the bathroom. I'm most likely going to try to go to Vogel Way today. It's nearby Kaiserslautern. Um, and then we might head over to Ramstein to get a few things at the Air Force Base. I'm trying to think of what else. I also think that we're, I know I need to find the Kaiserslautern HBF train station because we leave for Munich tomorrow. And it's gonna be an all-day affair. Like we take the train for five, four, three hours and forty-five minutes there. We'll hang out. We'll get. We'll arrive probably around like one o'clock, and then leave around five. Um, it said like seventeen forty-seven, so about like five, five fifty. Um, we'll leave, 
and then arrive here back at 21 32 so yeah we'll get back around like 9 30 so at 21 32 um we'll, we'll arrive back and be at the bed and breakfast on tuesday but yeah today's monday so i'm most likely gonna practice driving because yesterday sunday was um a day of rest fully for us and I started watching this show called Shooting Stars on Vicky. It came out a while, like a long time ago. Um, it, it came out a while ago, but it's so good. I'm only five episodes in. <laughs> I am obsessed. It's such a good K-drama. Anyways, um, we're going to continue getting ready and we'll most likely see y'all outside. I drove us to Suter, Naturlich Direct, works for Hof. Um, it looks like a grocery store. We're trying to find the Kaiserslautern um, train station, which we did, which there's parking at, which is great. Um, I wonder if maybe we could take the bus there. What bus? You know how there's a bus that goes through? But I don't know. We'll check yeah. the bus. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, uh, drove stick. <laughs> it's, my heart was thumping, y'all. It is so nerve-wracking. It's about 3.9 miles. We can go there. Let's go to the commissary and see what we, if we can go from there. Okay. What do you think? It, what do you think? I mean, it's whatever think, you want to do. Yeah, I want to go. I want to find the housing. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that's it or not. We're trying to go to Vogelway. Um, here, she's trying to look it up on her phone. So, so where is it? I mean, we can so go to the commissary. 17 minutes. Yeah. It's 17 minutes of driving. Okay, we're here. Mm -hmm. And it's here. It's most likely asking me to go on the highway. Okay. Want me do that? Yeah. Okay. But I want to figure. It should be. I don't know if it shouldn't be separated. I don't know if that is it or not. Let me see something. Okay. She's gonna figure out where we're going. I drove here in this car. We didn't get into an accident because that was like my biggest fear. Someone's pulling up, so I'm gonna put this down. Cause they're gonna be like, what is she doing? But yeah, we didn't get into an accident, which oh, was nice. And that was like my biggest fear was that I'm, I wasn't gonna know how to stop. And I stopped several times. It's just kind of nerve wracking. Once we pulled in here, it's like my brain just shut off and the car stopped, which was great but not the way that I stopped it like died a little bit but that's okay I'm gonna wait for these people to get out where's the map you you still have the map I don't have the map I never had a map the map that we, the lady gave us what you still have it in your in that we use it when we on base you took it out your bag Oh, it should have stayed in here. I mean, we can go on Ramstein. I know how to get there. I know where the commissary is. Okay. But once we get on there, let's put Vogel way. Housing. Because it's, I, I, I don't know if, because I don't know. Look at this. We can, okay, let me, let me, I put Vogel way. Like 
curve and then follow the road, essentially. Yeah, I don't exactly put my foot all the way down. You are so right. In one mile, turn left onto Bergerenstrasse. Yeah, that is true. They don't bother you. They don't come up to you and push you. You know, they see you real slow. They move around you. Yep. They're Which very nice. Conscious. They're very good drivers. Yeah, Germans are very good drivers. I mean, they drive fast now. But yeah. They'll go around you. They see you. You you slow. They and they and they, they see that at a distance. They are able to tell that you're going too slow, and they go around. Turn you. left onto Bergerenstrasse. I had the realization that maybe the reason why people probably think I'm young on this trip, like, I am young, I'm, I just turned 30, 30 is young, but I think they think I'm younger than I actually am because my grandma introduces housing offices straight, so we keep going straight. Um, this is different. Yeah. This I'm sure it's... familiar to me. Our buildings were like these. Oh. You go in them. There's three floors, and girl, I lived on the second floor. But I'll show you more what it, because where I was, I would park right in front of my house. Oh. These are different. They changed the buildings, because it wasn't a two-story building. Gotcha. She introduces me as her granddaughter, and I think people think, oh, she must be really young. Middle school, no, I'm not. main entrance. <laughs> I'm not in my 20s, I'm not in my okay. teens. I'm gonna go to the right just for going to the right. Yeah, just for First. shits and giggles. This is all new. Jesus. Every time we go. Oh. I bet you noticed they, they, they. Yeah. Yeah. These look more familiar to me. Okay. Also realize there's several people behind you. Yes, I just noticed. And you can go because that person is also entering the yeah. same time you are. Yeah. Lodging yeah. is right. No, I'm not going to lodging. Yeah, it's these number. all belong to people. Yeah, so I don't think we can just park anywhere. Area. I'm going to park in one of them. I'm going to park right here where it's open because most everybody is at work. Let me park here. Imagine this building. Okay, see like here, you'll go in these buildings. Uh-huh. And then you can go a couple steps and you have your up you know your apartment and then i was on the first floor mm. i was on the first floor so i park right here mm -hmm. and then just go in nice but, but these are they've renewed it because it wasn't like this mm. this is upgraded i think ours was wood but yeah and then look at look there's back a car there. behind us i know look look over there what you see oh the barbecue grill. pit yeah, yeah you go up there and you do your thing yeah. right Huh? Yeah. Okay, just keep going. Yeah. Going down memory lane, huh? Mm -hmm. But these are all new. This wasn't there. 41 years, I guess they have to renew it, you know? But the yeah, we will park, we're like right here. These are old, the older buildings, but they remodeled. Oh, they see, they're built. remodeling it right now. Well, that's new, still new. I know, I know what I'm saying. Yeah, because when I was here, none of this was here. Wow. It was all grass, but now they build it up. But this, this is the kind of housing I was in. See, and look at everybody have their, their barbecue, you see? Yeah, they even have decorations, a little yeah, cemetery. Building, yeah, this is housing. For Halloween. Yeah, this is base housing. That's so cool. Yeah, you took pictures of it? No, I didn't want to. Please take a picture oh, of it. Oh, you want pictures, okay. Yeah, so I can remember my... Like right there, and then she'll be like right here. 
So you would she would be on the top floor, you would be on the bottom floor, but in different buildings. In different buildings. Like she'd be in this section. Oh. And I'll be on that section. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? And then you just it, and we'll just spread out. What about Denise and Archie? Denise and them would be like they were like on a hill. So I would have to walk to their place and it would take me about ten minutes to get to her place. It was like on a hill. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she lived in one of these too. But I don't remember what floor. I think she might have been the third or fourth floor. I don't know. Yeah, oh, this is a one way. Yeah, yeah it's residence only. Yeah, this is a, you can't, yeah. Oh, look at that. Mm. This is lawn stool. At the traffic lights, turn left onto Sabra Kastrasa. Yeah, the hospital is that way. We need to go to the hospital too. I'd like to show you what the hospital looked like. Sounds good. Should we go there then? No, we're, we're going to this place first. Hotel Christine Cockpit Lounge. Ready? Yeah. So that good. delivered our food. Yeah, I took picture of mine. Oh, mushrooms. I was gonna ask for mushrooms, but they gave it to me. Wow, this needs to look better. Good. Ah, uh, sare. We'll send it to some sare. Try and snitzel. Oh, that's sade. Mm -hmm. I wonder why, why she stopped singing. So she must have oh, there's had your vegetables. Some issue with her, her label. Maybe. But that's what a lot of them do. Thank you so much. <laughs> The vegetables that you ordered. Oh, the vegetables. Uh, You know, the, the road is wet too, Jasmine. It's 130 clicks and I'm driving 106. Okay. So I'm slow because people are passing me by. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ugh. That was nerve wracking. Do this. This is Jasmine Drive. <laughs> and if anything, you know, just remember clutch brakes. Yeah. Clutch brakes. All right, we just got home, which means that I drove us from Ramstein back to Kaiser. Just, just I will, I will. <laughs> but I just drove us from Kaiser uh, Ramstein all the way back to Kaiser Can you have the bag? The bag is over here. And y'all, the part that I struggled with was the starting and stopping. I have a bag. It's right over there. Hold on. You're not even looking when I when you ask me. Okay, it's all right. I won't take this with me in case you have some. Don't, then I won't. Okay. Yes, that can get washed in there. But anyways, I drove on the Autobahn. <laughs> Uh, the part of the Autobahn that had a speed limit, it was 130 clicks and I drove 106 or seven. Um, so definitely slow because I'm not that confident <laughs> in driving stick, uh, or manual still, but, you drove it. but I drove and I did saw like once or twice, but it got out. Um, and by stall, I mean like the car stopped. And I realized it was due to me not having 
the clutch down all the way. I only had it half down and I needed to have it down further and then I could lightly press on the brake to continue going. But when driving and shifting gears, I don't need to go down on the clutch as much. I just need to go on the clutch halfway and then shift gear while my right foot is on the gas. So it's a lot easier. I feel like logistically and in theory, it makes a lot of sense, but doing it is just different because you're using both of your feet and then you're also having to shift and then brake. It's like you're using both sides of your brain. Yeah, that's mine. Um, Let's take it in case. If she don't, the white clothing. In the light clothing, yeah, these okay. are light clothing. Yeah, because I have a white shirt. This is one right here. I have another white shirt. You want this in here? Uh, yeah. If we can, if we can clean them, that would be great. I don't, I don't need to clean those. Why not? They're dirty. They're dirty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing very else dirty. Those are my nightgown. Are they clean? Is I mean, that the only one you have? That's the only one I have. Should I wash them? Okay. Let's see if we can wash them. Anyways, we're going to head down and uh, do some laundry. But that's pretty much it for today. We're going to go to Munich tomorrow. I booked our train tickets yesterday. So, yeah. Grandma, you want to come say bye? Bye. <laughs> bye. All right, she's done. Okay, let's go.